I'm Maureen Abood, and today we're making Lebanese falafel. I'm here with my husband, Dan, who's picking some of the herbs for me. The falafel is a savory fritter, fried fritter. It's so delicious homemade and really so much better than what you get in a restaurant. And that is because of all the fresh herbs in it. It's bright green, really aromatic. So the herbs in the falafel are parsley, cilantro, and mint. The parsley is a little bit of a job, which is why it's nice to have a buddy helping because it can take a little while. Other ingredients, garlic, sesame seed, a little bit of onion, and I love to put jalapeno pepper in. And then also the main ingredient in falafel is the legumes, the chickpeas and fava beans. The chickpeas and the fava beans have been soaked overnight in water and then drained. They're not cooked, they're just soaked. Just use a regular standard dry chickpea that you get in the grocery store, very economical. But the fava bean does need to be peeled. And that's one of the reasons why I started uh, selling the fava bean peeled at Maureen Food Market because they're not as easy to find. Okay, we have picked all of the herbs and we're just gonna process everything. This is very, very simple. The chickpeas and the fava beans, fully drained, and a pinch of salt. It's really about a teaspoon and process that to a coarse crumb. Really that quickly. And then the herbs go in. Big pinch of sesame seeds, toasted. That's about a tablespoon. And a clove of garlic. And I'm gonna put in, this is just a small onion that Dan cut up for us, really coarsely chopped. And then the jalapeno. We like it spicy. Oh, we like to spice <laughs> it up. We like to spice it up, Dan. And you can make this as spicy as you like or not. Use a jalapeno. You can also use cayenne pepper if you don't want or have jalapeno on hand. I'm putting an entire jalapeno pepper in here. That'll be good. I'm gonna turn a beautiful shade of green. There it goes. That was just about a half cup of dry chickpeas and half cup of dry peeled fava beans. Not really that much. And it will make 10 falafel. Okay, oh, that is very aromatic and so, so good. How does it taste? That's fantastic and so fresh. <laughs> delicious. It really is fresh and delicious. The last step, add a little bit of baking soda, about a teaspoon. This just helps with the texture and stir that in quickly. Need to refrigerate this so that it will chill and hold its shape. You can do that for up to a day, but as little as 30 minutes. Let's chill it. All right, we'll chill it. Okay. We are shaping the falafel now with the falafel mix that's been chilled. It's nice and cold, that helps it hold its shape. And we're using ice cream scoops. Want to be careful not to make the falafel too big because when you fry it, it will get cooked on the exterior before the interior is done. And this is about one and a half inches. So this is a good size. Those look good. Okay, we are frying the falafel in very hot oil. This is 375 degree neutral oil, which is just safflower or canola oil. Those, those oils will not burn as quickly as olive oil, for example. Don't put them all in at once, just a few in at once. This goes kind of quickly, about 30 seconds. We'll turn them over, but really by eye, you're looking for them to be golden, golden brown. Nice work. Thank you. <laughs> they look good. Leave that one in a little bit longer. That one looks perfect. It is time to eat 
the fresh herb falafel hot off the stove. Thank you, Dan. We have a really nice tahini sauce, tahini yogurt sauce, a little bit of lemon and garlic. It's, it's a great accompaniment along with these pink pickled turnips. That is a classic Lebanese favorite to eat with falafel and lots of other Lebanese dishes. You can see through this process that you really can make falafel at home and it's gonna be so much better than what you can get in a restaurant. It really is, I promise you. Dan is making his into a nice sandwich with the pita bread and that's how you get falafel on the street. It's, it's good like that and I'm just gonna dip right in with mine. Your homemade falafel is just the best. It's the best. It really is. I hate to brag, but on this one, I'm bragging. Nice work. <laughs> Thank you. You can find the full recipe at MaureenAboud.com and ingredients like the peeled fava beans at MaureenAboudMarket.com. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.